so today in our class we learn about ionic equilibrium so already we learn about the chemical equilibrium so what is mean by chemical equilibrium in a chemical reaction the reactant and the product molecules are present in definite quantity that is known as chemical equilibrium but in ionic equilibrium so instead of the reactant and the product molecules there is a present in the form of ions so in the reactant side and the product side are present as an ions ions are present which are which attain the equilibrium is known as a ionic equilibrium so before studying the ionic equilibrium first we know about the acid and bases because in ionic equilibrium is mainly present in acid base reactions so first of all we know about the acid and bases so what is mean by acid and bases so different concepts are used to identify the acid and base so first initially we know the classical concept to identify the acid and bases so acid means uh, which is sour in taste so sour taste la present ayirukku at the same time which it turns blue litmus to red color so in our lower class practical we uh, do that so acid means which it turns the blue litmus paper into red color and base mean which it turns the red litmus to blue color but it's not enough to identify the acid and bases so classical concept is a very preliminary test to identify the acid and bases it's not sufficient to identify the acid and bases so the three concept are used to define the compound whether it is an acid or base the first concept is very important one is arrhenius concept so the arrhenius concept is based on the hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion so hydrogen ion is h plus ion is known as a hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion is oh minus ion is known as a hydroxyl ion so a compound which behaves as an acid means which gives which donates gives hydrogen ion in water the compound or any substance which is dissolved in water which dissociates to give hydrogen ion so a substance which dissociates to give hydrogen ion in water is known as an acid for example hydrochloric acid hcl gas so initially we have to take in the form of gaseous state so hydrogen chloride gas which is dissolved in water it produces the h plus ion in water which is known as acid behavior so a compound is to be is identified to be an acid means by giving its h plus ion in water any substance which dissociates to give h hydrogen ion in water is known as an acid so hcl h2so4 acetic acid any one of the compound which dissociates in water to give h plus ion is known as an acid and base so base means to give hydroxyl ion in water so hydroxyl ion is oh minus ion so a compound which dissociates to give hydroxyl ions in water is known as a base so according to arrhenius concept an acid means which gives a h plus ion in water a base means which gives hydroxyl ion in water for example sodium hydroxide so naoh when it is dissolved in water it gives na plus ion and oh minus ion so it gives oh minus ion in water so sodium hydroxide behaves as a base so not only sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide caoh twice or potassium hydroxide any substance which is dissolved in water if it produces the oh minus ion which behaves as a base so arrhenius concept means which it gives h plus ion it is an acid or a compound which gives the oh minus it is a base but certain limitations for arrhenius concept so any drawbacks are present so one of the important limitation is it could not explain the behavior of acid and bases in non aqueous solvents so initially we studied an arrhenius concept the compound which gives hydrogen ion in water that means in aqueous solution but it could not explain the behavior of acid and bases in non aqueous solvent that means the solvent is not an water for example acetone any organic solvent that means the solvent is not in water so arrhenius concept explain the acidic and basic behavior only in water if it produces h plus or oh minus ion 
but it couldn't explain the behavior of acid and bases in non aqueous solvent so non aqueous solvent means without water so other than the water molecule for example organic solvents so acetone tetrahydrofuran or alcohol any aqueous solvents sorry non aqueous solvents organic solvents are non aqueous solvents the second limitation is it uh, does not explain the basicity of nh3 so according to arrhenius concept base means the compound which gives the oh minus ion it behaves as a base but it could not explain the basicity of nh3 because the nh3 does not contains oh minus so without oh minus the ammonia which behaves as a base so the arrhenius concept could not explain the basicity of ammonia those two limitations are those two concepts are not explained by the arrhenius concept those are explained by the lowry bronson concept so to rectify to uh, demer uh, to rectify the demerits of the arrhenius concept the next concept is used that is lowry bronson concept the lowry bronson concept is known as proton theory because the lowry bronson concept is based only on the proton so proton is h plus ion so arrhenius concept which is based on the two different types of ions h plus ion and oh minus ion but lowry bronson concept is explain the acid and base behavior depending only on the proton so the concept is known as a proton theory so acid means according to lowry bronson concept the acid means which it, the tendency to donate a proton so proton is a h plus ion hydrogen ion is known as a proton so acid means the tendency to donate a proton to another substance so which gives a h plus ion to another substance is known as an acid for example hcl hydrochloric acid which gives its h plus ion to h2o which gives its h plus ion proton to h2o so that the hcl behaves as an acid when it gives its h plus ion to water it forms h3o plus hydronium ion and cl minus ion so here the hcl donate a proton to water molecule to an another substance so hcl behaves as an acid and base means it is opposite to that acid so acid means the tendency to donate a proton that means the base is a the tendency to accept a proton so the tendency to accept the h plus ion is known as a base from other substance so acid means the tendency to donate a proton to another substance it gives its proton to another substance but base means the tendency to accept a proton from other substance for example here the water which gives its h plus ion to the nh3 that means the water donates its h plus ion so it behaves as an acid at the same time the ammonia which accepts the h plus ion from water so the tendency to accept the h plus ion from another substance so it is known as base so in the first case the hcl gives its h plus ion so it behaves as an acid the water which accepts the h plus ion so it behaves as a base base a behave panade and then the base means the tendency to accept a proton from other substance so in this equation the ammonia accepts a proton from water so it behaves as a base so for example the acid h hcl in water it gives hydronium ion h plus ion is known as proton h3o plus ion is known as hydronium ion plus cl minus so here the hcl which act as a proton donor because it gives its h plus ion to water so it act as a proton donor h plus is known as proton so it donates its proton so it is known as proton donor the proton donors are acid at the same time the water accepts a proton so it is a proton acceptor so a tendency to accept an proton is known as a base it forms an hydronium ion and cl minus ion so in the reactant side the hcl act as a proton donor behaves as an acid water act as a proton acceptor and behaves as a base in the product side the h3o plus that means which possess the excess of h plus ion so it try to gives its h plus ions so it behaves as a proton donor so already we know that the proton donors are acid and cl minus so the negatively charged ion which is ready to accept the h plus ion from h3o plus so it behaves as a proton acceptor so already we know that the proton acceptors are base so we consider this equation 
HCl with water it gives hydronium ion and Cl minus ion. HCl is a proton donor so it behaves as an acid and water is a proton acceptor from HCl so it behaves as a base. This is in the reactant side. So what about in the product side? The H3O plus hydronium ion is formed which possesses excess of H plus ion. So it ready to donate its H plus ion proton so it behaves as an acid. At the same time the Cl minus ready to accept the partially charged H plus ion so it behaves as a base proton acceptor behave the so it act as a base. So in this case by using this equation we given that acid 1 the acid present on the reactant side is assumed to be an acid 1 which forms the negatively charged ion that is the base 1. The acid present on the reactant side is considered to be an acid 1. When it loses its H plus ion it forms a Cl minus ion that is considered to be an base 1. Then second one in the reactant side another base is present. So initially we gave the name as base 1 in the product side it is formed from acid 1. So the second base molecule the another base molecule is assumed to be an base 2 in the reactant side that base accepts a H plus ion it forms an acid so it is assumed to be an acid 2. So this is the conjugate acid base pair. So the species that differ only by the proton the species that differ only by the proton is known as conjugate acid base pair acid base pair. So when the acid HCl after losing the H plus ion it forms Cl minus that act as a base. HCl is an acid by losing its proton it behaves as a base Cl minus. So those two are conjugate acid base pair. At the same time the H2O is a base which accepts a proton from HCl. So it behaves as a base. By accepting the H plus ion it forms the H3O plus but the H3O plus behaves as an acid. So base which accepts a H plus ion and it forms an acid. So those two are conjugate acid base pair. So conjugate acid base pair means the species that differ only by the proton. The species that differ only by the proton. So HCl and Cl minus those two differ only by the proton. Those two ion, those two molecules are differed only by the H plus ion. So it is a conjugate acid base pair. At the same time the water and H hydronium ion those two are differed only by the excess of H plus ion. So those two are conjugate acid base pair. The next one is limitation. So any one of the concepts must possess some limitation. So first of all we read about the, the limitations of Arrhenius concept. So the, to uh, rectify the to avoid the demerits in the Arrhenius concept we introduce the lowry bronson concept. But the lowry bronson concept also have some uh, demerits because all are not satisfied. So to what are the what is the limitation for lowry bronson concept? So it does not explain the acidity of BF3 boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride some other molecules. So according to lowry bronson concept the acid means the tendency to donate a proton. So proton means H plus ion but in boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride does not having hydrogen ion does not possess the hydrogen ion. So how it behaves as an acid but this concept bronson concept does not explain the acidity of boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride. So one of the demerit is present. So to clear the demerits the third concept is introduced to identify the acid and bases that is Lewis concept. So the Lewis concept is also known as an electronic concept. So lowry bronson concept is known as a proton concept, concept because it is based on the hydrogen ion only. But here the Lewis concept is known as an electronic concept because it is based on the pair of the electron. It is based on the electron so it is known as electronic concept. So according to Lewis concept an acid means accepts an electron pair. A molecule or ion which accepts an electron pair is known as an acid. So acid means the tendency to accept an electron pair. So electron pair accept function that is an acid. So base means the tendency to donate an electron pair. The tendency to donate an electron pair is a 
base. So, Lewis acid means according to Lewis concept, the molecule is defined as an acid is known as Lewis acid. So, Lewis acid means which accepts an electron pair that is it may be a partially charged ion or electron deficient molecule. If it accepts an electron pair means the charge of electron is negative. So, it must possess the positively charged. So, the Lewis acid it must be a it may be a positively charged ion or electron deficient neutral molecule it does not possess any charge, but there is a deficiency of electron to attain the octet configuration. So, electron deficient molecule for example, boron trifluoride aluminum chloride this is a neutral electron deficient molecule. So, it behaves as a Lewis acid. At the same time Fe 2 plus Fe 3 plus Cu 2 plus or any partially charged ion chromium 3 plus nickel 2 plus any partially charged metal ion which behaves as a Lewis acid because those all are having the tendency to accept the electron pair. So, electron pair the charge of electron is negative. So, the tendency to accept the negatively charged electron means it must possess the partially charged or it possesses the vacant orbital in boron trifluoride which possesses the vacant 2 pz orbital. So, it acts as a Lewis acid. So, acid means accepts an electron pair and base means donate an electron pair. So, donate an electron pair means if it possesses the excess of electron it donate it can able to donate an electron pair. So, Lewis base means it must be an anion that is negatively charged ion that is known as anion. So, a substance which is ready to donate an electron pair. So, ready to donate an electron pair means which must possess an excess of electrons that is anion. So, when the negative charge is formed which possess the neg excess of electrons negatively charged electrons. So, the anion or neutral molecule, but at least one lone pair of electron excess of lone pair of electron is present in the molecule. It can able to donate an electron pair. Those molecules are behaves as an Lewis base for example, ammonia water those are behaves as an Lewis base. So, for example, boron trifluoride BF3 and NH3. So, boron trifluoride is a electron deficient molecule because it possesses the vacant 2 p orbital it ready to accept an electron pair. So, electron deficient molecule. So, it ready to accept an electron pair from ammonia. So, the ammonia which gives its electron pair which possesses the one excess of electron pair one lone pair electron which is ready to gives its electron pair to boron trifluoride which, which forms a coordinate covalent bond. So, the normal bond ionic bond covalent bond are given by a single uh, single uh, hyphen, but coordinate covalent bond means it is given by a arrow mark. So, the ammonia in ammonia the nitrogen gives its lone pair electron to boron in boron trifluoride boron trifluoride. So, a coordinate covalent bond is formed in this in this type of complex. So, in uh, Lewis acid means which behaves as a central metal ion. So, central metal ion means metal ion means which possess the positive charge. So, the Lewis acids are central metal ion and Lewis bases are known as ligand. So, the ligand means electron donor which donates its electron pair which gives its electron pair. So, the Lewis bases are ligands and Lewis acids are central metal ion. So, next topic is strength of acids and bases. So, acid and base sort of strength every good clam. So, the acid or bases is classified into two types one it may be a strong or weak. So, strong acid or weak acid or strong base or weak base. So, strength of acids can be measured by the concentration of OH minus ions and hydronium ion concentration. So, acid according to Arrhenius concept the acid means which produces the H plus ion that means a hydronium ion in water when the acid means it produces H plus ion in water means it forms hydronium ion. So, by measuring the concentration of hydronium ion we predict the strength of an acid. By measuring the concentration of OH minus ion we predict we measure the strength of the bases. So, the acid and base both are classified whether it may be a strong or weak. So, here acid means strong acid or strong base means it is completely dissociated in water. So, completely dissociated means we cannot be able to find the unionized molecule in water it is completely in the form of ions. 
so acid for example hcl hydrochloric acid when it is dissolved in water it is completely dissociated to form h plus and cl minus we could in able to find the unionized hcl molecule so strong acid or strong base means it is completely dissociated in water we could in able to find the any unionized molecule the second one is weak acid so weak acid or weak base it which is partially dissociated in water so partially means a half only dissociated not only exactly half a part only dissociated in water the other one is in the form of unionized molecule for example acetic acid organic acids or weak acids so acetic acid that is dissolved in water which is partially dissociated into an ions in water that means there is some unionized acetic acid molecule and ions are also present in the water so both are present in water so strong acid or strong base means completely dissociated in water and weak acid or weak base means partially dissociated in water for example we assume that one of the acid weak acid ha so acid means which produces ha plus ion so that it give taken as acid so ha which gives ha plus ion so it is considered to be an acid one so acid means it must react with the base so the what here the water is behaves as a base then the what acid reacts with the base it gives hydronium ion so ha ha gives ha plus ion which is accepted by the water molecule it forms as a two hydronium ion and then a minus which is a base one so we any equation will attain the equilibrium reaction we applying the law of mass action that is k so k is equal to concentration of the product by concentration of the reactant so here the products are hydronium ion and a minus so concentration of hydronium ion and the concentration of a minus by concentration of the product so here the product uh, concentration of the reactants so here the reactants are concentration of ha and concentration of h2o so here the water is take water is a solvent so it is taken as a large excess so the changes in water is negligible so the changes in water is negligible because a small amount of water is consumed for this reaction so the changes in water is negligible so the concentration of water is considered to be a constant so the equation will be written as ka is equal to concentration of hydronium ion and the concentration of a minus by concentration of ha so the changes in what mean the concentration of water is negligible because the changes is very minimum it is negligible quantity so the ka which is known as ionization constant or dissociation constant for an acid so a represent for an acid because here we assume that we have consider the example is acid so ka is ionization constant or dissociation constant for acid so for strong acid by using the ka value we identify whether it is a strong acid or weak acid so ka value is used to predict the strength of the acid for strong acid the ka value dissociation constant value is greater than 10 so the ka value is greater than 10 it is a strong acid for example hcl h it is completely dissociated so inorganic acids are strong acids for example hcl hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid those are completely dissociated into what in water so the ka value for hcl is 2 into 10 power 6 at 25 degrees celsius so 2 into 10 power 6 means 2000000 and so on so the ka value is more than 10 so it is a strong acid so all inorganic acids are strong acid for example hcl hno3 nitric acid even sulfuric acid those are have those are strong acids so ka value is greater than 10 so and for weak acid so weak acid means partially dissociated so for the weak acid the ka value is less than 1 ka value is less than 1 that is the dissociation constant value is less than 1 for example acetic acid formic acid propanoic acid any one of the organic acids are weak acid inorganic acids are strong acid so the ka value is greater than 10 so it is a strong acid but the organic acid that means the acid which contains cooh group those are organic acids those are organic acids are weak acid which is partially dissociated into an ions its ka value is less than 1 
for example the ka for acetic acid is 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 at 25 degrees celsius so 10 power minus 5 means 0.00018 so less than 10 very less ka value so it is a very weak acid so ka value increases the strength of acid will be increases ka value decreases the strength of acid will be decreases so generally ka is greater than 10 strong acid ka is less than 1 weak acid so ka value increases the strength of the acid increases ka value decreases the strength of the acid decreases for example hcl so already we seen that the hcl is a strong acid so it is completely dissociated so hcl when it is dissolved in water it is dissociated to form h plus and cl minus in water the water accepts of h plus it forms hydronium ion h3 o plus ion and cl minus ion of produce panadu so here it is completely dissociated that means the equilibrium will mostly favor towards the right hand side that means there is there is the existence of only hydronium ion and cl minus ion so the cl minus ion has a less tendency to accept the h plus ion from hydronium ion so cl minus ion is a weak base which is a conjugate base of acid so acid is a strong acid which forms a base cl minus is a weak base so conjugate base of a strong acid hcl load a conjugate base cl minus is a weak base similarly the conjugate acid of a strong base so here the water is the base so conjugate acid of a strong base is a weak acid so the base is formed from an acid is a weak one so conjugate base of a strong acid is a weak base conjugate acid of a strong base is a weak acid or conjugate base of a weak acid is a strong base so reversibly reversibly is present so next topic is ionization of water so in previous class now we will discuss the the acid or bases means which is completely dissociated if it is a strong so partially dissociated means it is a weak acid or weak base so when the acid and bases are dissociated in water in similarly the water is also it has a little tendency to dissociate so if the acid and bases when the dissociate i h plus oh minus i na produce panadu so water is also dissociated in a little quantity so pure water itself has a little tendency to dissociate so for example the water will dissociate it to form the h plus ion so water is taken in large excess if we large quantity la eduthukom so one of the water molecule act as a acid the another water molecule act as a base so one water gives its proton to an another water molecule so water gives its proton means it behaves as an acid the another water accepts a h plus ion proton so it behaves as a base so it forms hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion so the water molecule itself it act as a conjugate acid base pair so already we seen that conjugate acid base pair means the species that only differ by the proton is known as a conjugate acid base pair so the water acid one and base one those two are differed only by the h plus ion so those two are conjugate acid base pair and the second water molecule and then the hydronium ion h3 o plus ion those two differ by the h plus ion so those two are considered as a conjugate acid base pair so here it attained the equilibrium condition so it is partially it has a little tendency to dissociate that means partially dissociated so we applying the equilibrium symbol so we applying the law of mass action for any equilibrium reaction so k is equal to dissociation constant is equal to concentration of the products by concentration of the reactor so concentration of the product is hydronium ion concentration of hydronium ion and concentration of hydroxyl ion by concentration of water so water so two water molecule is present so we have to take as concentration of water power 2 so water is taken in large excess and then its concentration for pure water is considered to be an unity so we assume that the concentration of pure water is equal to 1 then it is a kw is equal to h3o plus and oh minus so the concentration of water is assumed to be 1 so h2o is substituted by 
1. So, the concentration of hydronium ion and OH minus ion by 1 is equal to KW is equal to concentration of hydronium ion and concentration of OH minus ion. So, KW is the ionic product of water, ionic product of water. Then water dissociated to form hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion. Water dissociated to form the ion such as hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion. So, the product of ions of water is equal to ionic product of water. KW is equal to ionic product of water. Already we know that the concentration of hydronium ion is experimentally found that the 1 into 10 power minus 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. So, concentration of hydronium ion is experimentally found to be 1 into 10 power minus 7 at 25 degrees Celsius. When water dissociated to form H plus and OH minus, so equal number of H plus and OH minus ions are formed. So, when water dissociated to form equal number of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion, so which is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 7. So, concentration of hydronium ion is 1 into 10 power minus 7, it is experimentally proved. The concentration of hydroxyl ion is also equal to concentration of hydronium ion as 1 into 10 power minus 7. Because when water dissociated to form equal number of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion. So, its concentration is also equal to 1 into 10 power minus 7. So, for substituting the values of the concentration of hydronium ion hydroxyl ion in ionic product of water KW is equal to concentration of hydronium ion and concentration of hydroxyl ion. So, KW is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 7 into 1 into 10 power minus 7. So, KW is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 14, 10 power minus 7, 10 power minus 7 and I don't 10 power minus 14 at 25 degree Celsius. So, it is very important the ionic product of water at 25 degree Celsius is 1 into 10 power minus 14. So, 25 degree Celsius or 298 Kelvin. So, if it is in Kelvin, 298 Kelvin, the ionic product of water is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 14. So, dissociation of water is an endothermic reaction. So, water dissociation is an endothermic reaction. Already we know that endothermic means when the temperature is absorbed, heat is absorbed that is endothermic and exothermic means heat is liberated. So, dissociation of water is an endothermic reaction means when temperature increases the dissociation of water molecule will increases. So, dissociation of water is an endothermic reaction. It means that the temperature increases, the dissociation of water is also increases. For example, temperature increases, the concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion increases because the dissociation in water increases. So, more concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion increases. So, due to the increase in concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion, the ionic product KW is also increases. So, the temperature at, zero, at degree Celsius, the ionic product of water KW at 0 degree Celsius, the ionic product of water is 1.14 into 10 power minus 15. At 10, at 10 degree Celsius, 2.295 into 10 power minus 15. So, ionic product in other purpose, so 0 degree Celsius is 1.14, but at 10 degree Celsius it will be increases. At 25 degree Celsius, 1 into 10 power minus 14. So, ionic product further increases. At 40 degree Celsius, the ionic product of water is 2.71 into 10 power minus 14. So, with the increase in temperature 0, 10, 25, 40, the ionic product of water is also increases. So, dissociation of water is an endothermic reaction. So, temperature increases, the concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion increases. So, the ionic product of water is also increases. For example, with the 0 to 40 degree Celsius, the ionic product of water is also further increases. If it is an uh, acidic solution, so if it is an acidic solution means uh, for example, HCl, it is a strong acid. The strong acid may be dissolved in water which forms the excess of H plus ion. So, water means which having equal number of H plus and OH minus. If the HCl is dissolved in water, more number of H plus ion is present. So, the concentration of H3O plus is greater than the concentration of OH minus. So, it is an acidic solution. For a neutral solution means the concentration of H3O plus is equal to concentration of OH minus. If it is a basic solution, 
the concentration of OH minus is greater than the concentration of H3O plus. So, from the concentration of H3O plus and OH minus, we predict the solution is an acidic or basic. So, if it is an acidic solution, the concentration of H3O plus is greater than the concentration of OH minus. If it is a neutral solution, the concentration of H3O plus is equal to concentration of OH minus. If it is a basic solution, the concentration of OH minus is greater than the concentration of H3O plus. So, with the increase in temperature, the concentration of the ion uh, H3O plus and OH minus ion increases, the ionic product also increases. So, next one is pH scale. So, the pH scale is used to measure the concentration of an acidic or basic solution. So, usually the acidic basic solution concentration range is measured from 0 0.1 to 10 power minus 7 molarity, very lowest value. It is very difficult to calculate that value. So, we use the pH scale. So, the Sorensen introduced the logarithmic scale such as pH scale. So, the pH scale is used to to convert the lowest value into the considerable quantity. So, pH means the power of hydrogen. So, pH indicates that the power of hydrogen, it is defined as the negative logarithmic of base 10 to the concentration of hydronium ion that is pH is equal to minus log of base 10 concentration of hydronium ion. So, the pH value is calculated from the known value of hydronium ion concentration. So, in the similarly, the concentration of hydronium ion is calculated from the known pH value by using the two formulas that is the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to 10 power minus pH or the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to anti log of minus pH. So, the pH of the solution is calculated from concentration of hydronium ion. So, similarly, the concentration of hydronium ion is calculated from the known pH value. So, the pH of the solution is known. We calculate the concentration of hydronium ion from the formulas of 10 power minus pH or anti log of minus pH. So, similarly, pOH is also calculated from. So, acidic solution means we calculate the pH by using the formula minus log of 10 concentration of hydronium ion. So, for a basic solution, the pOH is calculated from minus log of base 10 to the concentration of, hyd concentration of hydroxyl ion. For any smallest value, lowest quantity is consider converted to a considerable quantity by using the following term pX is equal to minus log of base 10 concentration of X. So, the X it may be the hydronium ion or hydroxyl ion or Kw ionic product of water or dissociation constant Ka for an acid or dissociation constant base for Kb. So, the Px is equal to minus log of base 10 concentration of X. So, the X it may be the any smallest value will be converted to a largest value by using the Px formula. For a neutral solution, so neutral solution means which having the equal concentration of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion that is the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to the concentration of hydroxyl ion for a neutral solution its concentration value is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 7. So, for a neutral solution the pH value is calculated by the formula pH is equal to minus log of base 10 to the concentration of hydronium ion. So, minus log base 10 concentration of hydronium ion for a neutral solution is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 7, it is taken as 10 power minus 7 and we have to taking logarithm for those value 10 power minus 7, the power comes forward. So, minus already present the minus 7 into log 10 base 10, the value of log 10 is equal to 1, then the pH value is equal to 7. So, in the for the neutral solution, we calculate the pOH also. So, the pOH is equal to minus log of base 10 concentration of OH minus. So, the concentration of OH minus for the neutral solution is also equal to 10 power minus 7. So, for the concentration of OH minus we substitute the value as 10 power minus 7 then the pOH value is also equal to 7. So, the negative sign in the pH formula pH is equal to minus log of concentration of hydronium ion. So, in this formula the negative sign indicates the concentration of hydronium ion increases the pH value decreases. 
So, the negative sign in this formula indicates the concentration of hydronium ion increases, its pH value decreases. So, concentration of hydronium ion H3O plus increases, the pH value decreases. For example, a solution having the concentration of hydronium ion increases from 10 power minus 7 to 10 power minus 5 molarity. The concentration of hydronium ion or H plus ion increases from 10 power minus 7 to 10 power minus 5 molarity then the pH value decreases from 7 to 5. So, for the values 10 power minus 7 or 10 power minus 5 is substituted in this pH formula we get the pH values as 7 to 5. So, H3O plus ion concentration increases its pH value decreases. So, for an acidic solution. So, for a neutral solution the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to concentration of hydroxyl ion. For an acidic solution means the concentration of hydronium ion is greater than the concentration of hydroxyl ion. So, the concentration of hydronium ion is greater than 10 power minus 7 in numerical value. So, concentration of OH minus is 10 power minus 7. So, it is an acidic solution. The concentration of H3O plus is greater than 10 power minus 7 that means the concentration of H3O plus is 10 power minus 6 minus 5 minus 4 or minus 3 anyone. So, then its pH value is less than 7. So, the concentration of H3O plus is taken as 10 power minus 5 then the pH value is 5. So, for an acidic solution the pH value is less than 7. For a neutral solution the pH value is equal to 7. For an acidic solution the pH value is less than 7. So, for a basic solution the concentration of OH minus is greater than the concentration of hydronium ion. For a neutral solution the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to concentration of hydroxyl ion. For an acidic solution the concentration of hydronium ion is greater than concentration of hydroxyl ion. The concentration for a basic solution the concentration of hydroxyl ion is greater than the concentration of hydronium ion that is the numerical value the concentration of hydronium ion is less than 10 power minus 7. That, so, the pH value is greater than 7. So, then the relation between pH and pOH. So, already we know that the pH is equal to negative logarithm of base 10 concentration of hydronium ion. pOH is equal to minus log of base 10 concentration of OH minus ion. Then pH plus pOH is equal to we substituting those two values minus log of base 10 concentration of hydronium ion minus log base 10 concentration of OH minus. So, where then we have to take the negative sign as a common. So, common as outside. So, minus into log of base 10 into concentration of hydronium ion plus log base 10 concentration of OH minus. Then the log is taken as a common. So, when we have to take log as common the positive sign is converted in the form of multiplication. So, minus log of base 10. So, in the first step we have to take negative sign as common. In the second step we have to take the log as common and we take the log as common the plus sign is converted to a multiplication sign. So, minus log of base 10 into product of concentration of hydronium ion and concentration of hydroxyl ion. So, we know that the ionic product of water KW is equal to product of hydronium ion and hydroxyl ion concentration. So, for in the in instead of the H3O plus and OH minus is replaced by KW. So, pH plus pOH is equal to minus log of base 10 KW. Then minus log base 10 KW is equal to pKW. So, for any term Px is equal to minus log of base 10 X. So, in same way minus log of base 10 kW is equal to pKW. So, pH plus pOH is equal to pKW. At 25 degree Celsius the ionic product of water kW is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 14. 1 into 10 power minus 14. So, we calculate the value for pKW is equal to minus log base 10 kW. The kW value is 1 into 10 power minus 14. So, we have to take as 10 power minus 14 and we have to take in logarithmic the power comes forward. So, minus into minus plus 14 pKW value is equal to 14. So, at 25 degree Celsius the pH plus pOH is equal to 14. This is the relation between pH and pOH. 
by using this expression we calculate the pH value for the basic solution also. For an acidic solution we calculate the pH value, for the basic solution we calculate the pOH but by using this expression we calculate the pH value for the basic solution also such as pH plus pOH is equal to 14.